finished it uh, shooting in a high school. Did this drum up any sort of old high school memories for yourselves? Any best, worst high school memories? Oh, oh, man. It made me want to go back to high school. Good gosh. What? I know. Crazy, right? <laughs> Why? Uh, it made me so happy not to be in high yeah, school. The exact opposite reaction. I was glad that I was not still in high oh, school. Oh, no, I missed it. Um, <laughs> I thought it was awesome. I thought it was kind of cool going back. Um, I don't know. You guys take this one. <laughs> you guys take yeah, this I thought, one. I mean, being, being a, you know, a theater nerd, if you will. Sure. Uh, you get back up on stage a couple years after high school and get to be the high school nerd again. Yeah. I've brought up a lot of different things. It's like, oh, your friend's sitting out in the audience said, what are you doing? You're just going to make a fool of yourself. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I mean, there is sort of a lot of sort of theatrical superstitions. Mm -hmm. How much credence do you guys put into that as dramatic actors and as theater people? I'm superstitious. <laughs> I am too. I I'm really am all, so. in a big way. I'm constantly walking around and if a thought comes into my head, just a thought, I don't even have to speak it. I'm just like, nope, that didn't happen. <laughs> I mean, here you're playing characters with your own names. How closely do you feel like they reflect yourselves, these sort of archetypes? I hope not at all. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Cassidy's does not, because she's the sweetest person in the world, but her character is, you know, yeah. on a different... It's probably pretty much the epitome of, like, the type of person any anyone doesn't like. Right. Just, like, the stereotypical <laughs> high school cheerleader. The antithesis of... Cassidy. Well, and she's the sweetest person <laughs> in the world. Thank you. And I kind of do the same thing, except mine's more closely related to me personally. <laughs> well, you're sort of the villain of the movie to I a know, certain extent. I know, it's kind of sad, right? She treats me like that. I, but I try to, like, I play it more humorous in real life, and I don't. Sure. But I was also, we started filming it when I was 21 or whatever, mm -hmm. so, like, you, I was younger. And, like, yeah, I really could be. So, there. yeah, at least 50 <laughs> and now, I right? Could, yeah. And I could be, like, a <laughs> jerk, like, really easily, and now I'm toning. What about you two? I, I think there was a lot of elements of me. I mean, definitely whenever we started filming, I was 20 at the time. Mm -hmm. So I think I was a lot less confident, which I believe you're almost 29, dude. I know, right? <laughs> 29. Pushing 47. Um, I think I'm much more cynical than my character is. OK. Uh, I have a much more dark sense of humor, probably. That's true. Mm -hmm. But I think a lot of the elements of, of me are definitely incorporated into it. Definitely. Yeah. Um, I'm definitely, I was, I was similar to my, I'm similar to my character as far as I was very involved back in high school. And honestly, when we f started filming, I should have still been in high school. Um, <laughs> that I should have been doing in my senior year, but I had graduated high school early. And so I was pretending to be this high schooler in a movie. Um, and so I don't know, I, I was involved in theater and stuff back in high school, but not to the extent of being the one in charge of everything. I'm interested, is there like a camera class for holding, for being like a cameraman in a found footage mill film? Is there like a class there you can is. go to? I have never been to it. <laughs> they just played it by ear. I don't even need to take it, I passed. Ryan wrote the class. With flying colors. Yeah, I think you Are you ever afraid that you're going to drop the camera and just I'm ruin sure everything? I'm sure I'd drop it and just lose everything. <laughs> that would be horrible. I'm sure I dropped it plenty of times. But the first time I really was holding it, the second time we had a big strapping dude holding the camera for me. And I was just hanging on his yeah, back. He didn't trust us with the camera at that time. <laughs> it was like the nice camera before. before or when like up. Fife and I, they were supposed to be from our point of views and we're like so short. Yeah, and right. like Ed Lucas, our cinematographer, is 6'4", and like he'd be like, I thought he was going to have like a back problem. I know. Bending down to look like he's like <laughs> Fifers in my height. He was rolling his back out on a yoga mat every night. <laughs> Anytime like we knew the scene was going to be from our point of view, he'd just be like, oh, yeah. Yeah, great. <laughs> great. I'm going to be a hunchback for the next week. Like, Hour. Yeah. Well, great. Thanks, guys. Give me the wrap. Thank you so much. Pleasure. Thank you so much. Pleasure, my man. Thank you. Hello.